am so excited. Today's video, I am so stinking excited. I've been waiting to share this with you all. First things first, hi, I'm April Lauren. I'm on a journey to lose a lot of weight. A lot of weight. I started with over 200 pounds to lose and now I have less than 140 pounds to lose and I'm very ex excited about today's video. I just keep wanting to like jump the gun. So before I spill all of the things I'm so excited about in this video, there is a jump around menu down below if you want to jump straight to the weigh-in Wednesday portion. This video is filmed in two separate days. Those days are like 20-ish days apart. So there's that. I'm just so excited. I'm so excited. So, the end of September, um, my photographer friend, you guys have met before, she also is a YouTuber, she posted on her Instagram that she was looking for ladies who wanted to join a small group of women who were getting their Halloween photos taken, and I was like, what is this? Yes! <laughs> I, I was complaining about wanting to meet people, and I thought when she posted that, I'm like, this is a great way to meet people and how fun to like dress up and get my photo taken. So I said yes and I paid like my down payment and I ordered a dress and then I procrastinated. So <laughs> this video is a vlog footage of the day of me racing around getting my outfit and then doing a witchy witch session with some beautiful ladies here in the Fayetteville. North Carolina area, and it was so much fun. So I hope you enjoy the vlog. This has been the longest intro ever, but jump around menu down below. Let's just dive right in. I do not know why I wait until the last minute to do things, but I do, and that is what I'm doing here. <laughs> I needed to get everything almost for my witchy outfit. I did order a dress almost right away. I mean, I did not find out about this until a little later. I'll tell you more about that in a little bit. But when I found out, I went ahead and ordered a dress and it was perfect. And then I don't know why I put off coming to the Halloween store, but I did end up finding some fun stuff and there was just a ton. That day I procrastinated and so I needed to get my nails done, get a new bra, figure out what I was gonna wear to accessorize my witchy witchy outfit. And it was a lot. I did a lot and I was obsessed with all of the things at Halloween Spirit. I think this is the first time that I've ever been in one of these stores. So there was so much to look at, so much to see, and I cannot wait to do another like themed photo shoot like this in the future. It's so fun. And after this, I am going to Torrid to grab a brawl and hopefully some fishnet stockings in my size. Okay, so I got what I needed from Torrid, which is just fishnet stockings and a brawl. Um, I was in and out super, super fast and it took forever still. Like waiting in line took forever because they were a little bit busy and Torrid is just really expensive. But whatever, what I got fits and I need a normal brawl. I ever wear sports brawls, so. Um, and then I have, a, I have a couple regular brawls, but they don't fit anymore, which is a good problem to have. So I'm just gonna get one for now. And then as I size down, I'll just get another one. <laughs> okay, so I just got my nails done and I just got pulled in at the house. So I'm gonna run in and get ready because I have an hour and a half before I need to leave is not a lot of time um but the nails look great they're just plain black i do not enjoy these straight black nails but i felt like it was going to be the simplest and fastest option for me so that i'm not late for my photos so let's go all righty so i grabbed these for fixing my hair we'll see i've never done this this is a mistake to do this right before photos i feel like but fake lashes a lip gloss, eyeliners, and uh, I did not mean to do this, I think. Anyway, I got a bra and some little earrings, black lipstick, a headband, a skull, and a staff. We'll see. And then I got these from Torrid. Well, I'm late. I thought it was gonna be like 20 minutes. It's 40 minutes to get there, so yay. Oh 
my way to find the rest of the group with my props. <laughs> Encourage me to keep posting back on my YouTube channel and not doing it for like ever. <laughs> I finally posted it and you haven't watched it. Julie is awesome. You really should check out her channel if you haven't. And if you live in the Fayetteville area, you should totally book a session with her. She does Christmas minis and fall photos, um, family sessions. The hubs and I actually have a session scheduled with her with our pups. We're going to get our first full family photos done. It's probably our first time ever um, getting our photos professionally done aside from his cousin who did our engagements and stuff um, when we got married. But this was so much fun. I will be sharing the photos that I got um, in this video. So stay tuned and just the footage. It was so much fun. And then I put together a little tiny, tiny video. It's not really a video. It's like 30 seconds worth of spookiness of us witches. That'll be fun to watch. But Julie is such a creative, like amazing photographer. I love, love what she did. And some of it looks like edits like maybe that she did in post but she was like shooting through bottles and shooting through different things she picked up on the ground so she's just so talented kind of green asian editing i think okay. i can do that okay. and then we can do another one yeah. outside of the cauldron okay. Okay. I'm not because we we had a mini cauldron at my last group and like it billowed out too much and then like it didn't really work we so we should do like a circle with yeah, the smoke in the middle like... that, yes we tried to do that, but the cauldron was like really small, so mm. it just kind of like became this poof. Are yeah. you okay with us putting a smoke bomb in your cauldron? Yeah, no, that's okay, fine. Okay, great. I just yeah, wanted to double check. It should <laughs> come. I know they. Before you toss it in there, just make sure, because sometimes they like right when you first start them. They oh yeah, I'll start it and then yeah. I'll put it in, and then when it's over, I'll also like take it out because oh, I don't yeah. want it to move. Oh, you're fine. Recording. But it might turn if it kind of yellow. Anyone would no, no. like me not to. I don't care. I don't have to. She's a famous YouTuber. Oh so no, I. I'm more famous okay. than I am because I suck at the YouTube and I don't do the YouTube anymore. Hi. I was made to be on camera. It's okay, YouTube can watch me stumble over there. <laughs> I hope that wasn't just my ass. <laughs> like I squatted down my ass. I can see, oh, no, I can see your whole body in that picture hey. from the side of it. <laughs> encourage me. Come to my oh, YouTube channel and encourage me to post more videos. <laughs> That's my brand new okay. Which if she hasn't heard me out yet, it's at Julie Jigsaw. <laughs> And at Julie Barbie, if you're in Fayette before back area and you want spooky photos. Okay, I'm done wearing myself out. Fourth <laughs> <laughs> promo, sorry. Was, you can delete it, it's fine. I know, I'm, I'm <laughs> totally going on YouTube. Oh, do we have five or six? Okay, I need to find like no, a photographer in the area. There's 60, y'all, there's one girl. I found you and then that's the day you posted about the picture. That's perfect. So I made a super cheesy poem called Witches Cure for Boredom in this silly video. Enjoy. Once upon a dark day night, a gaggle of witches gathered the light, posing, laughing, and stirring all the fright just for fun, thrills, and trying as they might, striking the frame of one bright light, set all things boredom right. Alrighty, I am home. This is my little outfit. I didn't really do a outfit of the moment. 
I did my little crown, my little dress, my little fishnet stockings, and my boots. I feel very witchy. That you guys enjoyed that footage it it makes me really happy I so this is fun and it makes me so happy so it does I'm like looking at the top you can't really see it but this little shirt right here is um you can kind of see the little where is it Ellen I don't really watch this girl very often she is absolutely adorable she just I watch her content when I'm feeling homesick <laughs> occasionally like when I first found it I was looking I like literally was looking for footage of a home and um, I went to the University of Alabama before Utah actually I think even including Utah living in Tuscaloosa is the longest I've lived anywhere and that's where I went to school and then I started working right after school so I went to the University of Alabama and this um youtuber she her whole channel is based around the University of Alabama she's I was not in a sorority or anything but I love her around campus type vlogs it just nostalgic really takes me back but um I also followed her on Instagram when I found her channel and I love she did this merch and I thought it was super cute and I thought I would wear it because my little sister back in September was like you should do fall merch and I'm like no 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 but I did and I love it so I'm gonna share that with you after my weigh in so this week I weighed in at 283.4 pounds so I am it's almost like a two pound loss again. So I'm very excited. I am almost 70 pounds down. I am less than a pound from being 70 pounds down. I, I'm very excited about that. Now, I'm definitely not tracking to lose. <laughs> I'm not tracking to lose um, eight pounds. I was gonna say 80. And I'm like, of course I'm not gonna lose 80 pounds. Um, to lose eight pounds this month, but maybe that will change. I feel little things like my watch is way, way looser. I feel like there's been changes in my arms and I even feel like there's less of back fat. So I feel, and I feel like my waist is becoming a little bit defined and those things are all very exciting non-scale victory type things. Later this week, I am doing my three miles for time and I may or may not do a one mile for time this month. I'm, I honestly want to because I think it's not gonna change much. And so I feel like that would be good. Um, I have been rowing a lot lately. I've already shared that I think in a video and I will be making a whole video um, on rowing for weight loss in a few weeks. It, I think it's something that I will incorporate more regularly from here on out. Um, I'll cover this in the video, but when I first started my weight loss journey, I tried to row at the gym one time. I guess this is even before my weight loss journey. So before, I, I mean, I was, I've, let's be real. I've been on a weight loss journey my whole life, <laughs> I feel like. But so before I started filming my weight loss journey, let's let's say that, um, I had gone, I think I was in Colorado and I tried to use the rower and I was so mortified. I was so embarrassed because like I couldn't reach the row sitting, not because I'm not flexible, but because of my stomach. So that I just couldn't reach, I couldn't do it. And then, yeah, so I'm just elated to be rowing non-scale victory. And so I'm very happy. And let me show you my merch. I felt like it matched my lipstick so well and it was just kind of hanging out because I wore it to a date night the other night. And um, I wore it on a date night, I guess I should say. But I am so excited about opening this. And it's already open now. I just did it. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. It looks so good. So these, 
little crew necks. I think the biggest that they're available is a 2X, um, which I don't love, but I do have long sleeve shirts. The long sleeve shirts go up to 5X, and then the t-shirts that I got, I think they both go up to 5X, or at least 3X. Um, so, here is the sweatshirt. Oh my gosh. So I actually worked with a designer who like does watercolor paints and she painted this logo. And then it's got like the little gold flecks and then it says wake up bright and then April Lauren. I love this so much. So that makes me so happy. I love it. So I've got this sweatshirt and these are already linked below. So you guys are welcome to. Don't feel any pressure to get anything, any merch. Um, please don't because that's not, it's just fun. And my sister really was like, April, do fall merch. Now this was my favorite on the site, the color combination, but I don't like the way it came through as much because they're just screen print. So I would like eventually to be able to just literally do my own merch, like have it printed on my own. Yeah, so you can kind of see there's quite a big, difference in the way it looks. I think it still looks good. I'm still gonna wear the sweatshirt that I got. <laughs> but it does look a little bit more pinky, like the actual pumpkin and stuff, which isn't bad. I love it though. I think it's such a sweet design for fall and especially like, yeah, especially for Thanksgiving and stuff coming up. So I love it. I love it. Thank you, Emily, for encouraging me to be better and do more. I love it. I love the logo. I love the fall logo. And let me tell you, this right here is my most favorite. It's um, it's a mug, so I actually already opened this up. But I wanted to show you how it comes boxed. Um, and then there are things I would change about it, but this is the actual true logo. And it just looks so good. It definitely looks best printed on white. Um, the logo does. But here it is. And you can kind of see like the little like metallic flex. It's not metallic, but like the picture, like the, the logo that I had created is, it has like a metallic flare. So, here is the mug. Now what I would change is I would much rather it be on the sides than on the front, but I still love it. And then this was interesting. I was like, what in the world did I order that came in this box? So there was like, there were two types of t-shirts available through Teespring. So I use, it's a, it's a third party service. So Teespring creates the merch. They have all of the sizes. They have all of the inventory and it's basically like a risk-free way to create merch because they create it as it's ordered. Um, whereas if I were to create merch and like organize it myself, then I would have to have inventory here and then it's a bigger risk because if nobody buys any of the inventory, well then I'm just stuck with whatever I've created. So last year I did the Christmas merch, which I'm gonna do Christmas merch again, or Christmas stuff this year again, um, which I'm excited about. I don't think I'll have time to do it on my own, but by this time next year, find a, a local printer or somewhere online to get it printed so that way it's done exactly how I want it and I can use the brands of shirts that I want. So, this is just the t-shirt and this is also a 3x so that's really good another non-scale victory I actually can wear a men's extra large and it fits like normal now so that was pretty exciting I needed to wear this one shirt for this thing that I'm not sharing here yet and in order to do that um, I had to fit into an extra large and I was like, that's it's not going to happen. But then I put it on and it fit just fine. So I was super happy. Anyway, I know this last part of the video may or may not be your cup of tea. Again, don't feel any pressure to purchase any merchandise, any clothing stuff from me. Um, 
I just thought it was fun. My little sister asked me to do it and I did. Like I said, it's very low risk for me right now. And I'm just gonna use the profits to channel it back into hopefully doing something that's more size inclusive and better quality. Like I love the comfort color shirts. There's a few brands of t-shirts that I really like. Um, these t-shirts, like the Gildan brand that Teespring uses, it's not my favorite brand of t-shirt. So they're not bad or anything. It's just, they're very cheap. They don't, they're not cheap through Teespring and they're not cheap when you buy them necessarily, but the material is cheap. I also bought some off of um, Amazon one time and it just, like they didn't have designs on them or anything and they were not my most favorite. But I do love this, the maroon. I love it a lot. I'm so excited. Anyway, okay, well, beautiful people. I hope you enjoyed my witchy vlog and my photos. I had so much fun. And I loved meeting this group of beautiful ladies. And yeah, it was good all the way around. And if you enjoyed this video, my vlog and all the things, please click the thumbs up button. Drop a comment down below. Let me know, are you getting dressed up this year? And if so, as what? And would you ever do anything like this? Or would you ever get together and get your photos taken? Um, so the way it worked out with Julie, I think we only paid like 30 or $40 each of us in order for the session. So it was very inexpensive for a professional photographer to take your photos. So definitely worth it in my book. Um, Cause she just took the session fee and then just divided it like her normal session fee. So very excited to have these photos and to have them forever and also like halloween is one of those things that comes every single year and i am such a big supporter of this idea I, that i shared when i very first started my journey that the before or the during pictures they don't have to be so sad I feel like people would typically look miserable. I know in my very first pictures that I took um, my when I was at my highest weight, I'm miserable. But the first month, I sort of rectified that by taking my, you know, one month update, fit, like progress pictures. And I made an effort to like look happy because I was, not only was I embarrassed about the way I looked, I literally could not muster a smile. I was so miserable. I was so miserable, everything, everything hurt. Everything was work and a chore to do. And I'm so grateful. I know I have so much further to go, but my goodness, I have come so far and I'm so proud of myself. I love you. I hope that you have a wonderful day and I will see you one more time before Halloween. So I'll see you then. Love you, bye.